John Rasmus here, testing out my new GoPro camera, and I think I'm going to shoot here with the drone for one shot because of this nice uh, circle of cement made with actual rocks is already here. It's a pretty good setting for a scene I'm going to shoot. I'm going to have the drone fly up and I got the attachments but they don't exactly fit so I have to custom cut them to fit so this entire video is going to be recorded audio and video with my new GoPro camera. I'm kind of sick right now I have the, a cold hopefully I get over that soon. I can barely make it out to walk out here but Staying indoors all day can make you even sicker. So I thought I'd get some sunlight and check out this area. See if it's see if it's good for a drone to fly up. And it is. There aren't any trees obstructing it. This is a nice private area. That hill, there's a bike path over it, but you rarely see the people biking by. So I'm just exploring, preparing for the shoot on the new intro of the new show. A new show is coming this summer. A new show coming this summer. Spending a lot of time on it, working really hard on it. It's going to be cool, so stay tuned. It... Uh, I have to have everything ready. The intro has to be ready before I, uh, <laughs> there's a bike peddler right there already. Before I start making the new episodes, I have to make the intro. I have to make a custom logo. I have to make custom everything. And it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. In my opinion, it's gonna be a million times better than the other shows. It's kind of my old shows combined into one show. I've said that before with Pyramidical, but this new show is way better than Pyramidical. I am crafting a new song for the intro. I don't, I don't grab royalty-free music. There are a lot of strings attached to that type of music because it's not actually free. But when you make the music yourself, you own it, and no problems. So I'm going to make my own music. I've been studying a couple different songs from some artists I you know, look up to. And uh, in no way, shape, or form am I going to rip off. I'm 100% going to compose something original. But Tangerine Dream is a huge influence. The 70s, electro, electronica, ambient, synth band, Tangerine Dream. Very underrated band. Sure, they're kind of a quantity over quality, you might say. But they have, they have like a hundred records. So it's not really... Anyway, they have some really amazing songs. Um... There's one off the Thief th soundtrack, the movie Thief. Check out that movie Thief, starring uh, James Caan. It's a very cool movie. The soundtrack by Tangerine Dream. Very cool. Just one inspiration. I'm probably going to come out with something not even close to anything like that. But I want it to be the best theme song I've ever made. Every single song you've ever heard on this channel has been 100% original. Except for maybe like one or two songs out of the 100 plus songs I've showed, maybe one or two might have grabbed from a free source. But you never know. Those free songs could at any second be copyrighted and trademarked and put into the content ID match. You never know. So it's better to play it safe and just make your own music. As a YouTuber, the only advice I have is don't be a YouTuber unless it's fun. 
If it's not fun, don't do it. I want this new show to be fun. I want it to be something I enjoy doing, not like a grind, like a job. When it's fun, I'll be making as many episodes as I can. I want the editing quality to go up. I want the subject quality to go up. I understand this is not an episode. This is just me walking around, getting a feel for this area, seeing if it's good for a drone shot. This is not the only drone shot area. I'm going to go on the top of the mountain. And those mountains you see over there, they're as uh, barren as it gets. This is the desert. But when those mountains have a tiny bit of snow on top, the tallest mountain in town, which is way over there, you can't see it, it will have tons of snow on it. And snow is a novelty here in, in the desert. And so I wanted to get a really good helicopter style drone shot, Stanley Kubrick style, of the tops of the trees. And I'm gonna get that. I want them to be snowy trees. I'm going to get some other snowy shots. It's an elaborate intro. I've seen YouTube channels go from 5,000 subscribers to a million subscribers within a short period of time because they really dedicated themselves on custom crafting a song, an intro, a logo. They really branded themselves. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Some people, and this is just few and far between, but... I made a video about Corners of Rooms and some guy left a comment, oh, check out this other video on Corners of Rooms. It's very similar. And I clicked on it, it was my video. I have like 10 plus videos on Corners of Rooms because I'm one of the few people that have actually noticed the pattern of the importance of Corners of Rooms. Corners of Rooms is something that's more important than people realize. It's my book, I'm writing it, I'm finishing it. I don't believe in grabbing too many people to help on a project like this. So I'm 100% going to do it on my own. And I don't think the illustrations are up to par, so I'm going to redraw them. And redraw them until I have 12 really good drawings. And I'm a visual person. I see things visually. And so I'm going to structure the chapters in my book around the drawings. It's why the drawings are so important to me. It's not going to be a picture book. I'm talking about really nice, elaborate, medieval woodcut style inspired drawings. And uh, this is the first time I've used this GoPro. So I don't know what the wide angle looks like. Things might look a little bit weird. Flat earthers say it's a conspiracy that people that shoot up the GoPros into the atmosphere and they look down at the earth. Of course it's spherical because it's a because it's a fisheye lens man so I don't mind the fisheye lens effect this is a 4k camera high quality the best I could find in the GoPro arena and it will hopefully flawlessly seamlessly match up with my other 4k camera I'm going to film the entire intro with and I will be showing you in the year 2018 new show coming soon new logo new intro new branding of the entire channel I thank you for subscribing I thank you for liking and leaving a comment a constructive comment there's the moon I don't know if you can see it but I thank you for being a patron on patreon you've donated and I've purchase things like this GoPro camera, I'm going to 100% dedicate to the channel. I purchase things like my live stream camera and my new camera, which I'm making payments on. I haven't even started making payments on it. But I have a good amount of time to, make, to pay it off, and I think it's a good investment. I have easily 100 episode ideas. I'm not out of ideas. It's not a lack of ideas. It's a lack of time. I have a job, and I happen to be sick on my days off. I have probably 10 episodes that are 30% done, 50% done, some of them. And I'm going to rebrand those with the new show. But some of those I will include as Occult Unmasked episodes. I am planning to do a Hoax Hunter episode of the 1997 UFO incident in Mexico City. Very cool incident, very interesting. Um, 
So I'm not gonna cease to do hoax hunter stuff, but paranormal and supernatural is definitely the direction of this channel. You know, someone left a comment on my Tommy Wiseau video. They said, there's no, there's no such thing as a legitimate paranormal investigator, I think the comment said. That is 100% dead wrong. There are plenty of legitimate paranormal investigators, but to be fair, there are plenty of fake ones as well. The field is so laughed at and mocked at and taboo in the actual scientific community that, um, yeah, there's a lot of fake paranormal investigators out there. I'm not one of them. I'm not going to fake evidence. I'm not going to do a social experiment. I either find something or I don't find something. And most of the time, you're not going to walk around and find ghosts and aliens and demons. Most of the time, you're going to find nothing, all right? Just birds flying around. But the new show has a lot of inspirations. But I'm mostly going to combine what I've already done, try to do it on a better format. This is probably a really shaky camera, so I'm just holding it with my hand with no steady cam or anything special attached to it. Maybe I will get such an attachment, but this is not my normal camera to broadcast with. I'm just testing it out for the first time. But stay tuned, more stuff coming soon. Trust me, the new show is going to be awesome. I'm already stoked seeing some of the intro things that I'm coming up with and I haven't even filmed the main sequence. The new logo, new stuff coming soon, a lot of cool stuff. I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus with the John Rasmus channel, youtube.com slash hoaxhunter. Be seeing you.